Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that I get a lot at this time of year, and that is, how can I save all the stuff that's in my Google account if I'm leaving one school and going to another? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. So let's say I'm going to leave my school district and I'm going to go to a different school district, but that other school district hasn't given me a Google account yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Google Drive and I'm going to put things into folders that I then download. Now you could individually download items, but it's faster if I put them into folders or if I've already, already have them in folders. Like let's say this here, I'm going to move into a new folder. So I'm going to move that into this important stuff folder. So you can click and drag or right click and send them. And then I have this folder here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and download all the contents of that folder as one zip file. Now I'll keep that file safe until I get my new Google account issued by my new school. And then I'll just upload that content by going to new and selecting file upload. Now you can do it that way. There's also the option to use Google Takeout. Takeout.google.com is Google's service for taking all of your data out of Google or some of your, Google, your data out of Google. And in this case here, Let's say maybe I just want to take with me my Chrome bookmarks and I'm not gonna take any of my classroom stuff. I'm gonna turn off all these other things and I'm really just interested in my Google Drive data. So I'm gonna turn off all those other options. And then when I've unselected all of those, what I'll do is I'll just download all that information as one nice zip file. And you can see there, I have a lot of things to unselect. Now you could leave some of these turn, turned on or selected if you like, but you can see there, I've now selected just my Google Chrome information and my Google Drive information. And I'm going to get all of that in this next step sent to me as a download link via email. And you can also connect it to your Dropbox or add to a different Google Drive or to OneDrive. But in this case, I'm going to get a download link via email and create that export. And it's going to take all that data, all that information, put it into zip files for me to then download. And I have a video about that step linked up right down below. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.